Hello friends whenever we start building a house one question always comes up should we do white cement putty or directly apply primer some people do all three together and some skip one or two but here is the truth if you do it wrong your walls can crack paint can peel and you will waste money so today i am going to explain everything step by step in simple language By the end of this video you will know exactly what to do in what order and why The correct sequence is white cement then putty then primer and then paint Step 1 plastering and curing After your plastering is done your walls are bare and here is the important thing don't rush Plaster needs time to cure and dry properly at least 21 to 28 days Why because if you paint too early cracks can appear or damp patches may form a small tip during the first week sprinkle some water on the plaster lightly this strengthens the plaster and helps avoid cracks later think of it as giving your walls time to settle properly step 2 white cement wash optional but recommended now some people skip this step but i highly recommend it white cement wash it is a thin white cement coating applied over plaster what does it do it fills small pores in the plaster makes the surface stronger reduces damp patches and that white salt like layer called efflorescence here's the important part it is optional but if you want smoother stronger walls and a little less putty later you should do it how to apply mix white cement with clean water to make a thin paste brush it evenly for the wall let it dry for at least 24 hours before doing the next step one thing to note white cement doesn't stop external water leaks if your terrace or bathroom has leakage proper waterproofing is needed step 3 putty work This is the step where most people make mistakes. If you have done white cement first, two thin coats of putty are enough. You don't need a third coat. Here is how to do it correctly. Thickness: keep it 1 to 1.5 mm per coat. Too thick a layer can lead to cracks and peeling later. Drying: let the first coat dry for 10 to 12 hours. Sanding: Use fine sandpaper 400 to 600 grit to smooth the surface and remove dust. Direction: First coat should always be applied vertically from top to bottom. The second coat should be applied in a cross direction from left to right. Pro tip: Use waterproof putty for better durability. Optional: For interiors, you can use POP punning instead of putty. but never use pop on damp walls or outside it is only for dry interior walls common mistake many contractors apply the second coat too soon and that's why putty starts peeling correct method first coat dries completely then sanding then second coat and then let it dry fully step 4 primer after putty we move to primer primer is like a base coat for paint it helps paint stick properly reduces paint consumption gives a uniform finish types of primer water based acrylic primer this is used for interior walls it is applied when you plan to do emulsion paint which is the best choice for homes washable and long lasting cement based or weather primer this is used for exterior walls because it is stronger and gives protection against rain dust and weather conditions always apply at least one coat of primer skipping it can double your paint usage and reduce durability step 5 paint once the primer work is done our last step is painting in paint we usually apply two coats which paint should we use The best choice is emulsion paint. This is a good quality water-based paint. 
it has a high washability it lasts long and it doesn't fade quickly only thing is it is a little costlier normally it starts around 220 to 600 rupees per liter depending on brand and type on the other hand there is a distemper paint it is very cheap around 50 to 80 rupees per liter but i do not recommend it distemper looks dull is not washable and doesn't last long for a house where you want good finishing always go for emulsion paint it gives a rich smooth and matte finish to your walls pro tip use a good quality brush or roller for a smooth professional finish step 6 recap and final tips let us quickly recap the correct sequence plaster then curing then white cement optional but recommended then putty or pop then primer and then paint follow this order and your walls will last long without cracks have a smooth clean surface avoid peeling paint look beautiful remember drying time and proper application are the keys don't rush when applying plaster putty or primer these steps are the backbone of a perfect finish quick tip if you ever see peeling or cracking it is usually because drying time was skipped or putty was applied incorrectly follow this method carefully and your walls will stay strong smooth and beautiful for years now tell me in the comments have cracks or peeling paint ever caused you trouble at home which of these steps your painting contractor always skip white cement putty or primer share your experience in the comments i would love to hear so friends see you in the next video thanks for watching